What's good guys? Hope you're having a good day, afternoon or night. And today we are back in Shinobi Life 2 after a while. And as you read from the title and from the thumbnail, today I'm gonna be showcasing um dust release or um, particle style, whatever you wanna call it. It's a really good KG and at the end of the video I'm gonna show like tell my opinion about it but before we begin the video if you haven't already please do like subscribe and turn on post notifications because it really helped me out and we are really really close to 100 subscribers we recently hit 70 and we are at like 75 73 subscribers right now and uh, make sure you use hashtag road to 100 for the shout out in most of my videos still we don't actually reach 100 so let's get into the video So here we are guys and the, for the first move of uh, of um, dust, dust release or particle style is particle style atomic array. This move is really good and it has a huge range. This is the move, I didn't see really well um, how much damage it does but like this move have, has a really good range and like Particularly, one reason why I'm deciding to keep this um, KK Genkai is because so it does 11k four times or so five times. Like it does, like sometimes it does three, sometimes it does two, sometimes four, sometimes five. And one particular reason why I decided to keep this KK Genkai over stuff like Ash and all that is because of the range. Like literally, um, let me show you guys. I could literally stay on top of this tree right now. Let me get up. There we go. Let me go even further here. And I, I know I can hit those locks over there. As you can see, it is there. It didn't hit because of those things there but after once I use the second move it's surely going to hit. So for the second move we have a um, particle style atomic pillar. This one is pretty straightforward I would say. It's just a beam. It does like 6k 5 times and you know like even this one has a huge range and I was as I was saying this one if like I go all the way over here is uh, I know it's gonna hit this I just need to put it inside the circle like there we go damn wow it almost hit let me try now it's close to hitting you can see that like it hit over there so like it does have a huge range when i was like testing this off camera it did it did hit but i don't know maybe like the um nerfed it a little i don't know but then for the last skill it's atomic particle style atomic dismant dismantling i think i can't talk today and this does 24k if i see correctly and like he does like a small barrier that holds you in for like a few seconds and like this move it's especially good against bosses and like if i had to like rank it up with like stuff like boil or ash i would put this at like over those two because if you think about it ash it's good i'm not gonna lie like it's a good move but like, mm, like it's a it's a good kg but the only move that you're gonna be using is like the ash breath and like that is the most um like the one that you're gonna be using mostly but like with um this one i can literally use it at any point i was literally yeah as you can see it hit over there it and even this as you can see it, this um kk genkai has a huge range 
and like it's very versat versatile and it's useful in any situation uh yesterday i was helping my friends to get a uh, sengoku and like i used it to like snipe all the other people because i already have some goku i think i have it max i don't really know no i don't have it max yet and then i have kurama in this imperfect form um too and like yesterday i was helping them um i will just use those use those and um snipe everyone that like wasn't in the party so then they would get knocked or like i would use this move against them and they would and they would get like trapped inside that for a few seconds and at the end all of them got some goku like three of my friends got some goku and like you know i was really happy for them so my overall thoughts about uh this kiki genkai is that like you know it isn't one of the best obviously like maybe having something like itachi and um, mangeki sharingan or noma sharingan it's gonna be way better but in my opinion like this kiki genkai you know like it's really versatile and like maybe you're looking for something not to like you know fancy and all that but like you know it's still good I really recommend trying to get this because like you know it does a lot of damage compared to other KK Genkai's it has like tick damage sometimes 5 sometimes 6 sometimes 7 you never know it's just about luck and like overall I really recommend getting this KK Genkai you know it's good for like a uh, mid range and like um the like hand signs aren't really long maybe like this last move it has long hand signs but the other two yeah as you can see as you can see the hand signs aren't really that long so like i really recommend trying to get this if like you don't know what to get like maybe you have lost hope in trying to get um itachi mangeko sharingan like me i literally used 500 spins and all i kept getting was wood but i got lost and you know at the end i was able to get this so like you should really try and get this kk genkai and like it's really good i know like i keep repeating the same thing but like i really want to mention that like it's a really good kk genkai and it's really versatile so if you enjoyed the video as i said earlier please do like subscribe and turn on post notifications because it really helps me out and you know we're on the road to 100 i'm on my grind bro like you know right now we are we are like 73 subs so like you know if you don't mind please subscribe it would really help me out a lot and that's it from me if you enjoyed the video again once again like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye